Hi, I'm Sarah Borders with Benefits Compliance Solutions. There were yet another set of proposed rules that were issued by the departments a few weeks ago that specifically called out fixed indemnity plans. And so when we work in the employee benefits industry, we all know that there are many different types of arrangements that can take the form of a per period type of payment that is paid upon the occurrence of a medical treatment or a medical service. So this would typically look like the worksite products like cancer, critical illness, accident coverage, or some type of plan that would pay a fixed amount per occurrence. Now we also have gap insurance that pays essentially what a major medical plan won't pay. And so under these proposed regulations, they specifically call out that those that are not really considered those fixed indemnity types of plans are not going to be considered accepted benefits and therefore the ACA's rules, the health care reform rules would apply to them which can be substantially different than we previously thought. So those types of worksite plans that again pay like $100 per day for a hospital visit or $60 for the wellness exam, those types of plans would be generally under these rules still considered accepted benefits and therefore basically exempt from health care reform rules. But the gap insurance plans, again, under these proposed rules, are looking more like they would not be able to be claimed as an accepted benefit under health care reform. So there are comments that are due by September 11th, 2023. So if you want to comment and maybe have an impact to these rules, you certainly can. And um, also just keep in mind that if they are finalized in these uh, in the proposed rules, they're carried forward the same way, then generally speaking, the um, policies issued before the effective date, um, if they're issued before this effective date of the final rules, then they would be um, required to be considered non-accepted benefits for policy years beginning on or after January 1st, 2027. So um, we'll likely see some movement with this, but it's something again to track with proposed rules to see what we can anticipate and how the departments are gonna be seeing these types of arrangements. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great week.